ladies and welcome back to my channel. My name is Penny. So we're going to talk about in this video how to respond if he texts you asking for that second date. The texting conversation may start out very much simple. Hey, how was your day? I was thinking about you, something like that. I want you to think about this. Do not respond immediately. When the phone dings, don't pick it up and shoot out a quick message. I want you to stop and think about how you feel, how you felt about this person, you felt safe, you know, how are you feeling at the moment, are you happy, are you positive, are you still mad about something that went on, do you have time to respond and time to think, of, uh, think out a flirty, fun, casual message back to him. You want to pick a time when you can do that. You want to take that extra five minutes to think about what you're going to say and respond appropriately. Okay. Remember, this is a continuation from date number one. Now you want to continue that behavior. You want to be casual and flirty, kind, open, friendly, inviting, positive. Okay. Positive is the key. Okay. Even if this man has taken three or four days to text you back, that's okay. That's not a whole long time. Um, don't get mad at him or be annoyed that he didn't text you back right away because um, three or four days really isn't that long, okay, ladies? And the other thing I want you to be mindful of is if he told you he worked nine to five, say Monday through Friday, you don't want to text him right before work. He's trying to get ready. You don't want to text him when he's at work because maybe he's not allowed to have his phone and you're going to be distracting him or maybe he's in a meeting. Um, and you don't want to text a man immediately after work. And the reason I say that is most men have a time where they need to come home and decompress. They don't want to be bombarded with some woman needing me to text right now, needing my attention. I just want to come home, sit in my lazy boy, and decompress for a half hour. Give them that time and assume that he needs that time until you've learned otherwise about his personality, okay? So, you're going to take a few minutes, you're going to think about your response, kind of come up with something flirty, you're not going to be upset with him or anything like that, okay? And then, you are going to respond something like, absolutely, a second date with you sounds amazing. Why don't you give me a call this evening and we'll set that up? or we'll work out the details. What we're trying to do is encourage him from getting out of the texting world and into a communicating world with you. Hearing your voice, hearing your giggle, hearing your flirtatious nature, your happiness, your excitement to see him again, all of that is gonna make his little heart go, wow, she really does want to see me. She, he can hear the emotions in your voice. A text is really hard to read. Especially when, yeah, that sounds fun. All right, well, that sounds boring. But if you were to call and say, yeah, that sounds like fun. Absolutely, that sounds great. Okay, you can tell that he's going to start responding more positively. And now you've given him permission to call you, not just text you, which some people do need that kind of push to know that it's okay because we are a texting world. Um, the also, the other thing is, if you're in that texting with him, don't be, you know, texting a bunch of questions. Um, don't encourage him by answering, you know, if he says, you know, hey, where were you born? Where'd you grow up? And, you know, these are conversations I'd really love to have in person. I prefer to get to know someone, you know, sitting across from them at a table. I'd rather save the questions for our dates, okay? We don't want to spend all evening texting him because what happens is we start thinking we're not on date two anymore. We're on date like 50 because we know so much about this person and we really don't want to move that fast. When a person is answering questions like, hey, where did you grow up? I want to see him. I want to see his excitement. I see, want to see him relive stories and tell me those things because then we're going to be building connection. We're also going to be able to see, is he fidgeting? Is he lying? You know, 
do I still feel that open communication from him? Those things are all important, okay? And whatever you do, ladies, do not text him if you've been drinking, you're hanging out with your ladies, or you're high on drugs, or after nine o'clock in the evening or before like eight o'clock in the morning. Those are kind of like the no text zones. We don't want to get into midnight texting with him, okay? And let's say he sends you a random text like, hey, do you know what the temperature is today? He is making an excuse to talk to you, okay? Don't get mad. It's his way of reaching out and that's okay. Okay, remember, he is still a person, he still has feelings, he's still nervous, he's excited to see you, he called you or texted you and asked you for a date. That takes a lot of courage on his part. Reward him. Reward him with your excitement. Reward him with, you know, your enthusiasm to go on a second date with him. Make it a positive experience and remember one of my slogans is men fall in love with the way you make them feel okay and i'm going to say that a lot in these videos but if every time he calls you or texts you or you know communicates with you he's left feeling important heard and valued he's going to like you even more and that's how this relationship is going to develop all right ladies so good luck answering that text i know he's going to be texting you soon be ready, and you have a great rest of your night. Bye.